What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6. So this is related to the latest PlayStation 4 update that was just released 10.00. So this is an update that I will make another video on to talk like in depth detail on what this update is, what it releases, because this is a major update. But as you know with Sony, major updates have major consequences, right? So you can clearly see I have the latest system software version installed, uh, you can clearly see from here and if you're able to somehow come to this screen and it is still pending install or whatever like you clicked on this video before you did the update I would advise you to kind of pause the update delete the update and follow the instructions to update it from the safe mode method instead of this because a lot of times updating it from here causes issues and it this hence why this video is being made because those issues persist and happen and we're gonna essentially resolve them and work out work those issues out uh, so let's get right into this. So for the first thing you want to do is you want to power off your console completely. Do not put it into rest mode. Do not do anything else of the sort. We're going to completely power it off as you can see that I'm doing right now. Once it's powered off, there's usually a white light on the side that flashes. You want to make sure that stops flashing. It's like kind of pulsing. You want to make sure that pulse stops pretty much so you can kind of go forward to the next steps, which is to enter into safe mode. And the way we're going to do it is you actually hold on to the power button for about five to eight seconds until you hear two beeps. I don't know if you're going to hear any beeps on mine because my console is kind of old and jacked up, but let's see. Yeah, so you, you no know beep. So I'm going to instinctively hold to like eight seconds and then let go and then you'll see on the screen it'll say safe mode so just give me I think I held long enough perfect I did alright so now crucial thing when you're in safe mode you cannot do anything until you have a USB cable connected to your console and then to your controller it does not work via Bluetooth you need a cable connected in uh, so make sure you have a good cable and like right now like this is kind of jacking up you want to make sure like it's a good cable I don't have like a good one and as you can see you just kind of have to do it you cannot use the analog stick you need to use the d-pad so in here we're gonna do a few things to essentially do this update if you can do rebuild database first and then come back again that would be highly preferable to do so so I would advise you to kind of do it from that perspective first because rebuilding the database always ends up fixing a lot of these issues and concerns that do end up happening now Moving on, if you did do that or if you don't want to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to do update system software and we're going to do number three in here, which is update using internet. We're going to essentially let this roll over there. And even though I have it installed, you can see it's telling me to do it again. This I can technically do it again from here. So you can now, you should always do an update from here, especially if your console is prone to errors. And even if it's not, this is just the better and preferable way to do so. Because again, it alleviates a lot of issues and errors that can possibly happen. And I would almost always advise you to kind of go down this route rather than doing other things, right? So step one, rebuild your database. Step two, update it via the internet. Now, if for whatever reason you do this and your console is still getting that error that I've mentioned, what you're going to do next is same thing. You're going to come back here and you're going to do update from USB storage device. I have a separate video on how to do this and I will leave it in the description below in the comments. But the way you do this one is you essentially take all, uh, you take a USB device, you put it in your uh, PC. Uh, if you don't have one, you're going to have to go to the library or something and you download a that file I, for, I forgot what it's called but it's an update file from sony's website directly so you don't go to other places you go to directly to sony's website and you do it directly from there so you're going to essentially install it from that component uh, download it to your uh, usb device plug it into your console restart this whole process you can't keep it here and plug it in and, and you think it'll pick up no you gotta turn it off turn it back on go back to this process and then you'll see it here and then you do the update via that method now if that doesn't work, we're gonna do number six. This is going to essentially delete everything from your console, meaning you're not gonna have anything left over in your console, all users, all data, all games, everything is gonna get deleted. If you have your data saved into the cloud, great, better for you, so you can, you know, the games you can always download, right? So not a big deal. It's the saved data that matters. If it's not in the cloud, I apologize, I'm sorry. Uh, just try the other steps that I mentioned. This, these are like last resorts that I'm mentioning. So hopefully uh, you already had some data backed up and you don't have to kind of stress or worry about these components, right? So hopefully you're good to go from that side, but this will essentially reinstall the software and go from there. Now, 
if for whatever reason all of the above I mentioned failed, right? For whatever reason necessary. What you can do is number seven, and this is the hardest one out of all of them. This is essentially reinstalling the system software via a USB device. So this is going to install the console from the USB device itself. And again, this is very similar to step three via USB, updating the console, but this is reinstalling the, like, the software itself from scratch to your PlayStation console. A lot of times this will fix a lot of your issues, not just this one, a lot of them. I made videos on like other uh, error codes that have happened that this fixes. So you wanna kind of be cognizant enough that and keep that in mind, that this will fix a lot of those issues. But again, this is one of the harder ones. Um, the whole process with the USB is a bit complex because you have to ensure the USB device is empty. You have to ensure you download the right update. It's called the right thing. The folders are called the right name. Again, I have a whole tutorial on how to do that and what to do that for step by step to essentially have that process entailed and go from there. So those are essentially all the steps you can follow and need to follow, I should say, to be able to kind of build up your console back to the point it needs to be. Once you kind of do that, you'll be able to like success successfully log in. You'll see it saying successfully updated. You should not have that error persist any longer and you should be kind of good to go. So like I said, if you're able to essentially stop for like i said whatever reason you you saw this video before you did it great you might want to kind of follow those steps and not update it directly from the console rather than safe mode itself and then follow the few steps that i mentioned which was essentially rebuild your database and then reinitial then uh, update via internet if that doesn't work update it via usb device if not you're going to have to initialize your console and if not worst case scenario which is also initialized but the harder way which is updating it via usb device or reinitializing, I should say, via USB device. So you're gonna kinda have to follow that logic and go from there. So hopefully you guys do get a successful update like I did, it successfully installs for you and you're able to clearly see like your uh, update being installed, you're not having that issue persist any longer and you're pretty much good to go. So yeah, if you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, or other errors that are coming up, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out and walk you through this process. If you guys still overall like have something else that's happening or new errors or with Xbox or whatever, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy you guys out. If you guys did find this video helpful and informative, do smash that like button. It helps a lot. It helps the channel grow. It helps me, you know, reach out to other people so I can help them out and you know resolve their issues and errors that may be happening. And yeah, if, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel, you know, and like this video and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. I'm Matt, Mugging out. Peace.